Hello, my pretties. How are you guys? The prettyoracle.com is where you're going to be able to find all the things that I have to offer you guys. What you can do. Oh, when you get to the site, you have to click products because it's going to expose everything that I have to offer you. You're not going to see it straight away. Okay, you guys? So make sure you click products. Also, you don't need PayPal to order from my site. All you have to do is click the PayPal option and put in any credit or debit card. I really advise for you guys to... um. You know what I'm going to do? Let me write this down. I'm going to um, start offering um, the clearance clearance of um, love energy. Because you got a lot of people um, that's trying to stop a love connection. Okay? That's what we've been seeing in, in, in all the reads. Trying to stop a love connection and create blockages as it pertains to meeting the person that God has for you to meet in a partnership as far as romantically. All right? All right, so we have the devil, the high priestess, and the magician. This came up in the last three. We are elaborating upon it. Let's go on, spirit, please. Okay, somebody has a tattoo of a lock and a key or a lock or something like that. Um, also, somebody had somebody is a Libra. Okay, the person that's doing this could be a Libra, or I could be talking specifically to a, lead, a, a Libra. Okay, I just heard leader. That's another thing, too. With the high priestess, the magician, and the devil, you got to be real careful about who you're going to get readings from, what groups you're joining, okay? Um, I I heard, we don't want, we don't want to never end. We don't want, we don't want to never end. It's like our lives have just begun. You walking out, you coming back again. Because we became the best of friends. This is this speaks to some sort of attachment that you have to low vibrational energy in your life. This could be an ex. This could even be the, just the, just Stephen, the devil, him downstairs, talking to you about the connection that he wants to be able to keep with you. Um, trying to lure you um, into a low vibrational state and trying to keep you in cycles. I wanted to bring up a song that um, is written by Candy Buris, right? And she talks about... She says, in cycles, in cycles, the devil keeps us in cycles. Um, she says, the devil don't know your, 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 your weakness. I mean, she says, you may not know your weaknesses, but the devil does. And um, what the devil does, um, Stephen, okay, him downstairs, he wants to keep you in a cycle. That's that we don't want to never end. We don't want, we don't want to never end. He does not want you to never, ever stop um, circling around and keep um, cre bringing the same karmic cycles into your life. But some of you guys, you got a spiritualist that's on your ass because they want your energy. This, this spiritualist with this high priestess could have been somebody who, you know, what I said with the leader, thought they was leading some shit until they met you and they realized that um you got it. You it, okay? You're chosen. Your energy is golden, all right? And they don't want to never end. They don't want you to pull away from them. Again, the cord cutting bath is available on my site and I, I really do... um suggest that you guys make this a monthly if not every two weeks on every moon ritual okay a lot of a lot of my um clients are reoccurring clients okay especially when it comes to that cord cutting energy it's 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 vital to um this war that we fighting right now all right y'all anyway let's get into it my personal deck look at that we have jealousy and delusional we got some people that that are je jealous and they are literally with the magician and the devil here being ruled by the devil what did i say energy vampire okay you got somebody it could be a spiritualist it could be your ex it could be all of those people all of the above a lot of coven energy a lot of cult energy a lot of gang stalking energy this person does not want to let you go we don't want to never end a lost soul this person got a hole in their soul hmm. this person could have been molested or got like a lot of childhood issues as far as being touched this person's what divination what i told you 
some sort of crazed ass reader okay somebody who i feel like uh you know presents themselves to the public as what did i say about molestation anyway presents themselves to the public as if they're tapped into you know some sort of divine guidance or if they're uh as if they're positive but they're not they're really negative this person is in a sunken place they cannot access themselves so they want to access yourself okay We're going to follow up with a deck that um, I purchased with you guys' donations. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, I try to shout out everybody that, uh, you know, leaves their information to me. Shout out, shout it out. Because some people just be like anonymous. You know what I mean? Um, if you guys are looking to donate to the channel... What you can do is look in the description box and you're going to see, um, you're going to see the, my Amazon wish list and my donation link. So anyway, okay. Someone is trying to negatively affect your health either, either physically or mentally. Okay. So this, this is one of the things that they're doing. Evil eye. Someone envies you to the point of them not, not wanting to see you succeed. Yeah. Look at that. Jealousy and delusional. Okay. Jealousy and delusional. They saying that this person constantly getting readings or doing readings. Listen, <laughs> I'm going to tell you like this. A lot of these people that are broke and you know they broke, right? They ain't got money to spend on spell work or constant readings and things of the sort. The reason why they're able to constantly tap into your energy is because they work with a coven. Okay, them Covens be having one person that do readers, one person that hack. <laughs> okay, a bunch of people, like a bunch of succubus energies that that could go after a person and try to trick them romantically. Okay, they got they connected. You hear me? They connected. They got a person for everything in them Covens. So this, so if you saying like, oh, this post person is broke, how could they constantly be using divination? Some of them got their own cards, okay. Especially if you're dealing with a reader, and then others of them are connected to cults and Covens, okay? Because it comes with the package of, uh, you know, getting in the par partnerships and selling your soul to him downstairs. Okay, spirit team, your spirit team has your back right now. You are not alone. I want you guys to, before you go to sleep, call on your angels, call on your ancestors, call on your spirit guides to guard your physical body as you're um, resting, okay? But those of you who are suffering from health attacks, I would advise that you um, take some sort of supplement, sea moss, spirulina, spirulina, um, taking your vitamins and staying um, on top of your health, watching what you consume, watching what you feed yourself as far as food is concerned, and then also what you're um, taking in as far as your mental is concerned. You guys might want to scale back from readings. I don't know. Pity party. Someone is going through tough times and wants you to experience the same thing. So we had saw that, um, you know, in, in one of the previous reads where it's like, these people are in poverty and they want you to be in poverty too, okay? Misery loves them some company. Someone envies you and is trying to steal your essence to become a mirror energy of, a mirror image of you. Now, these, this to me is like the weirdest shit ever. <laughs> Woo! I, I, I don't know. I just, you know what I'm saying? That shit is low. And it's weird, okay? It gives, I don't know if you guys seen that movie, Single White Female. It's like, wow. Like, because it's like, they don't make enemies like they used to, you know, make them anymore. Like, you know, the type of people that stay away from you. Oh, I hate that person. I never want to see them. No, like, the type of enemies you have when you're chosen are the ones that are obsessed with you. They are in love with you, okay? They, they want to be you. That's scary. <laughs> it's weird okay i experienced a lot of it 
But um, someone is going to a magic practitioner to help cast a spell on you. All right, you go. You guys know, you know these people are. Look at this. And then we have theft magic. Someone is out to take something that is yours. This could be love, money, energy, and etc. A lot of these people are energy vampires. So when you see the devil, the high priestess, and a magician, you have to understand that, um, you know, there's levels to this shit. It's not just, oh, okay, this person is doing, you know, lighting candles against me. Like, no, you, you're dealing with, like, satanic cults and you're dealing with um, people that have no souls and they're literally being driven by lower level entities. You know, you have Steve and him downstairs that don't, don't want you to spread love and light and then you put his energy into a jealous person and now he's able to, tr to, to, to actually, um, you know, embody, you know, um, control, okay, someone here on the 3D to put in work in that way as well, okay? You gotta be very careful as far as who you're allowing into your energy, into your space, who you're getting readings from, who you telling your business to, okay? Staying on top of your spiritual, um, hygiene staying on top of your spiritual hygiene as well you know you guys like just like you just like you get in the shower and you wash your ass you have to wash your spiritual ass as well constantly okay constantly Um, they want me to tell y'all that, yeah. Okay. They want me to tell y'all that a lot of, um, one of the things that these people are trying to do, that your enemies are trying to do, or the enemy, him downstairs, whatever. Okay, however it resonates for you. Keep sending, like, um, low, low, low level, um, soulmates into your life, right? To try to get you to sleep with them so they could, like, D defile you def i kept i keep hearing defile for two weeks now like um muddy or dirty your energy okay to bring up to lower your vibration to pass on spiritual stds and stuff like that okay with this health attacks and let go and let the blessings flow okay this is another deck that i was able to get with you guys' donations thank you i've been waiting to do a reading with these um let go and let the blessings flow clarifying health attacks has a lot to do with people trying to keep you in um a cycle as far as your mental health is concerned and constantly thinking about this or you know what i mean y'all gotta let this go you know what i'm gonna do to help you guys as i start to um go into as i start to do more arenas what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to gloss over if it comes up like yeah these people doing magic on you whatever i'm gonna try to gloss over it um and not focus on it so that you guys don't have to be exposed to it for those of you that um are easily triggered Look at that. What did I say? Be mindful of sexually transmitted demons. Didn't I tell y'all? This is what they're trying to do. I know this may be sad news to some. Shit, it's sad news to me as well. But you got to keep your legs closed. Okay. <laughs> So, um, I was, I was having a conversation with, um, with spirit about, you know, cause I was interested in somebody and I was having a conversation with spirit like, oh, you know, um, <laughs> um, can I like, can I, you know, can I see about this person? What's up? And spirit was like. You can't be sleep. You can't sleep, sleep around during a spiritual war. And then I brought up, I brought up to spirit like, um, you know, war movies, war movies where like, um, I forgot what, what the name of the movie was, but you know, you speak to spirit telepathically. So, 
um what is it what what it's like a famous movie where they were at war and the guy from taken is in it right and I brought, up, I brought up that movie. And Spirit is like, duh, they were like twin flames. Like, duh, they were um, vibrational matches to each other. They were um, supposed to be together. You know what I mean? You just want to be out here playing. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's funny. I feel like some of you guys, you know, might be in this energy where you just like, damn, like, you know, you're taking away, uh, you know, my vices. And, you know, you're taking away... Um, you know, um, a lot of things, you know, when you're on a spiritual journey, but you taking away sex too, or I can't just, you know, have a little fun in that way or whatever the case is in spirit is like, yo, you, you, we're at war. Okay. We're at war. There's a time and a place for everything. You guys, um, you know, spirit put me in my place. So I'm just passing on, <laughs> passing on the message. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, I'm only human, right? I'm not only human, but you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I'm other things too, but, um, you know, my, my human, my human nature was getting the best of me. Okay. They will be exposed very soon. So this is clarifying, clarifying your spirit team has your back right now. The, the movie is not called Troy. I don't know why I wanted to say that. Is it called Troy? Cause now I want to know, um, now I want to know what the movie is called. The movie is not called Troy. Um, but this is, but they will expose very, they will be exposed very soon. So the guy's name is Liam Nielsen. And it's a movie with, about war and all they did, like, a you know, in a lot of, in, in, in a lot of the, um, and a lot of the scenes, all they did was have sex. But they were at war. So I had brought it up to spirit. Like, well. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know what the name of the movie is. But he was in it, and it was hot, and it was spicy, okay? So they will be exposed very soon, is clarifying um, spirit team. Your spirit team has your back, okay? Hold You guys, you guys have to hold on. Like I said, it's a time and a place for everything. Right now, you got to be on your P's and Q's. It ain't even a time to, like, really be um, inviting any new friends, um, or associates, you know what I mean? Or anybody that, that that's going to get close enough to you to know your business or your movements or whatever the case is. Okay. You have to use discernment. Just accept that you don't fit in. Just accept that you don't fit in you guys. What did I say? The divine wants you to be alone. The divine wants you to be alone. That's it. There's a time and a place for everything. Right now, it's just not that time. It will be. Look at that. Pray about your pain. Talk about it to your angels. I told you guys, this is not the time for you to be like, you know, um, telling people your movements and, and, and even asking for advice, y'all. Even asking for advice. You got to keep your stuff very sacred and very secret, okay? The divine loves a broken heart. The divine loves a broken heart. Um, because, you know, when you're by yourself, God is able to talk to you easy, you know, more. Communicate with you clearly. I feel like if you ever think about when you were at your lowest or when you were at rock bottom or when you were um, being oppressed the most, how close you became to God because you didn't have nobody else. Yeah, that energy. Okay. Change your thinking and change your life. This, this is not 
This is not saying here to break you. It was saying it, it was it maybe to break you so God could put you back together, but not you this is not going to end you, okay? This is not going to end you. Your spirit team has your back. You are not alone. These individuals will be exposed very soon. Burn away the past. Resilience. Like I said, it's not meant to break you. This is not meant to end you because you're very resilient. Think about how far you've come, okay? And then don't think about the past again after that, <laughs> okay? Burn away the past. Burn away the past. It's very important for you guys to do cord cutting or however it is that you release from negative attachments. Perfect acceptance. Perfect acceptance. Yeah, with this, that goes with change your thinking and change your life, okay? Um, I feel like a lot of you guys may be, um, the part about the past that you may be struggling to, to deal with is the fact that a lot of things that happened to you, you did not deserve, okay? You're being called to accept those things, accept that there's a purpose for everything or accept that, yeah, you didn't deserve that, but maybe this person needed to show you their true colors, okay? Just accept it, okay? Learn to accept the things that you cannot change. Detox, cleanse and restore yourself. Cleanse and restore yourself. This is what I was telling you about the like taking up spiritual baths. They're very, very important. At the very least, sea salt. You know what I mean? And 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 stuff that you can find in your cabinet, you know? Um, at the very least, okay, practicing cleansing your aura, cleansing your mind, renewing yourself, self-care and things of that nature. All right, you guys, I hope that helped.